how to get back at it? It's huge. I th we know we had a tough schedule there. I think we played seven games in 10 days or you know three and four nights. So getting some rest here and just re regrouping here and um, really taking time to rehab. Uh, obviously, a lot of guys didn't skate today. And, uh, two big games coming up, so it'll be it'll be good. And now we're officially in November. Looking back at October, this start. Just what do you take away from uh, how hot you guys have been? I was a great start to the season. Um, good month of October, uh, but you know, like we've been saying the whole time here, game by game, shift by shift, and um, you know, we are all focused on Washington here uh, coming up. What you guys have been through with respect to being focused on Thursday? Mm -hmm. There's no playbook. For this, there's no plan. You can't anticipate what you guys have gone through the last few days. What did you learn about the room and how you guys were able to? Yeah, uh, I mean, kind of get get through however you got through. Yeah, um, I said this uh, in one of my last uh, meetings here with you guys that we got a great leadership group here. Um, you know, Barky really stepped up. He would be thirty, horny. You know, Aki too. Uh, we're a family in that room, and uh, you know, we really, uh, you know, obviously it's been a tough challenge for us here the last, you know, week or so. So. Um, you know, it, it really showed us how close we are and, uh, you know, we're a good group in there and um, we really like being together. So, uh, you know, like I said, Washington coming up here, that's what we're focused on. What was the day off like? I mean, just forget everything else. It's like you said, seven games in ten days, whatever it was. Yeah. You guys had to be exhausted physically and mentally. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice day off. We had actually a good Halloween party together and everyone got together and, um, you know, just burn off some steam and have fun together and, um, you know, meet all the wives and the girlfriends. We hadn't we really had a team uh, other than like that in a while, you know, with the COVID last season and stuff like that. So it was nice to get everybody together and have some fun. Who excelled at the... Uh, Who excelled? Um, you know, our trainers uh, really had a couple good costumes in there, yeah. So I'll, I'll just go with the trainers on that one. <laughs> Wait, who did you go as? I was Mr. Incredible. Uh, I'm a little last minute guy. Got into uh, Halloween, Spirit Halloween last minute and got Mr. Incredible going and made me look pretty buff for once. So. We, so we talked about it at the beginning of the season, not just the balance on the forward lines, but the balance and depth mm -hmm. for the blue liners as well. Defensively, what do you feel has, has been your greatest strength as a group so far to start this season? I think consistency. Um, you know, whether it was a young or older group, I think we're all pretty young back there. I think, you know, Goody and Nader, um, there are a couple new guys last season for us, but just getting together and all consistent, consistent three, consistency throughout every game has been key. Um, you know, we don't take a shift off and we battle hard back there. And, um, you know, just getting the pucks to the forwards. So I think, you know, they, they got a lot of skill, a lot of talent. And if we get, if we can get them the puck, then they'll do their work. You've been around Bruno for two plus years now. What stands out about him as a coach, and how much did it help having a voice you guys have known to help you guys through what's been going on? This last yeah, week? I think uh, he had a great career. Obviously, uh, that stands for itself. And uh, you know, getting to know him over the last few years, he's a he's a great leader. Um, you know, we're close with him. Barky gets a great relationship with him, and uh, he teaches us a lot of key things, a lot of little things that you know maybe we we didn't know before. So I think he's been a great leader. A guy that can really step into the room um, and through this tough time and really step up, and he's he's been great the last couple of games for us. Specific examples of those little things? Um, you know, I think for the power play, you know, he did coach the power play uh, before with Q, but um, you know, him working with Hubie and Barky, net front guys, um, you know, showing us how to box guys out in front of the net because he was net front guy himself. So just little little key things, picking up sticks, um, just l all little small details that uh, we might not know before. Please say, please say nobody went as a hockey player. Like no, no, nobody didn't get it last night, right? Sorry. Nobody showed up for the. Nobody showed up as a hockey player. No, no one showed week. up. Uh, you know it's good. Uh, I feel like uh, everyone's come together as a team, uh, as a group. Uh, so I feel like everyone's buying into it, buying into it, and uh, I think we did a great job. And then you see from yourself, like you've got seven assists, I believe, and. Uh, Having another great season after coming in. Uh, how many have you seen from yourself from last year to this year and uh, your growth as you've gotten here? Uh, you know, I just try to do the same way I did. I finished off last year. I think uh, I played really good uh, the whole season pretty much. And I just try to, try to do the same as last year. And then you've got yourself paired with Gudis this year. Uh, how's that connection going with uh, you and him? Uh, I think it's going good. Uh, he's a super nice guy, uh, easy to to talk to uh, off the ice and on the ice, so uh, I think uh, we've come along good. And then also just uh, 
With a good start, uh, how important is it just to keep on going, keep going game by game, and uh, you getting that focus on those games? Yeah, like you said, we got uh, two big games at home now uh, against uh, against good teams, so uh, we got to stay ready here. Good stuff has always uh, been an important factor for this team for the Blue Liners to activate. You know, how are how are you kind of seeing the offensive contributions from the defensemen so far this season as well? Yeah, uh, that's how we want to play. You know, we want to be a threat too, uh, following up in in the rushes. So if we stay uh, keep doing that, we're gonna keep be a threat. And I know last week, you know, three games in four days. I'm yeah. sure nice to have the day off yesterday and weeks just telling us Halloween party. Was it good to just kind of get away, kind of reset yourself physically, mentally, and, and come into practice today? Not only working hard, but having yeah. a little bit of fun too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, it's been a tough, uh, couple of rough days here for us, so it's been good. Uh, good to have a day off tomorrow and come in fresh and uh, focusing on the, on the games coming up. You guys had a great start. You did it against some of the best teams in the league, and you've got some good teams coming up this week as well, Washington, Carolina. Have you have you liked being able to, to play against some of the best teams here early in the season and kind of see where everything is and, and just to really get into it, dive in head first, I guess, if you will? Yeah, for sure. I, uh, I think that's good. Uh, you know, you always want to compare yourself to the best teams out there, and I feel like uh, we're right there. Thank you. I do have